What is up? Welcome back to another video. Today, I guess I'm trying to fingerboard with a Hot Wheel car. This video idea came from a user over on Discord named AlexFBS, and he suggested fingerboarding with a Hot Wheel car, so that's what I'm doing today. So preparing for this video, I have two cars here, and I think they're gonna work well because they have pretty tall spoilers and that's gonna make you able to pop the board a bit easier. I think, because if you had a car that was just like pretty flat like this, you cannot pop the board, or in this case, a car. Whereas having a shape of a car like this, I feel like it's gonna make it a lot easier to pop up because you can actually pop it up. Also, my Hot Wheels collection is pretty big because I like Hot Wheels cars. They're actually pretty cool. Like for four bucks, you can get like a pretty realistic car that is miniature. That is pretty cool. And it rolls for a very long time. I've had this car just sitting in its package for a couple years now, and I think now is the perfect time to open it up because look at that spoiler. Also, a quick side note, I poured some silicone the other day and I put it on this wrench uh, because I like making TikToks where I peel it up but it actually looks pretty cool. Like it looks wet right now, even though this is like completely dry. It's like, this is just silicone. Just thought I'd mention that. Also a couple new projects coming up using epoxy resin. So maybe a hint that I made a mold with some silicone. So stay tuned for that video to come out. So now time to open this up. And I know that when it comes to opening Hot Wheel cars, you're supposed to use that like acid type stuff to eat the glue away from the package. So you perfectly take it out of the package but I kind of don't have time for that. I'm sure I'll just be like on Instagram or something and I'll find out that this car is worth like $10,000 if it's in its package that hasn't been opened. And I'll kind of regret that decision, but you never know. Hopefully this car just isn't worth anything, but that would actually be cool if it was. Also, another side note, when Tanner Fox came out with his Hot Wheel car, I went to my Walmart and found a whole bunch of them and bought every single one of them. These have been sitting in a bag under this table for a very long time. Ugh, what was in that? Oh, what is that? Kinda wish I didn't open that on my table. This table is pretty messy underneath. But what is this? Ayo. That was a bad idea. Yeah, back to what I was saying. Uh, I have a couple of these cars now. So yeah, now time to clean up the mess that I made. I just wanna go on eBay and see how much these Hot Wheels are actually worth right now. I haven't looked into this. Wait, is this for real though? I have a whole pile of these. I legit just found this out right now. The top bid on this one is over $1,000. And then this one here, that one is $400. Did I just become a billionaire? There's 18 people watching this right now for $1,000. How many of these do I have? Okay, I will now be selling these on my website for $1,000 a piece. I think I have 30 something of them. So yeah, then I'll, uh, then I'll make $36,000. I hope that isn't just a glitch on eBay, but the fact that I saw another one for $500 and there was only two on the entire page of eBay. And I have so many right here. I'm actually kind of shaking right now because that's kind of cool. When I opened this up, I was joking about having something that's worth a lot of money. <laughs> and now I'm not even joking about it. There were a couple of people. So I used to have one of these packages hanging up on my wall right here. There were a couple of people saying like, no way you have a Tanner Fox Hot Wheel car. And I'm like, yeah, like they're everywhere. <laughs> I have like a ton of them. And yeah, uh, yeah. I'm very glad I didn't open all of those. And I hope that the packages don't matter too much because some of these are pretty beat up. But that is the story of how I just made $35,000. I'm probably just gonna make a whole separate video on that because I think that'd be pretty cool. But back to this video. So I have not popped this board yet, and I actually think this red one might work a little bit better because it's a little bit more rounded on the back. So I think it'll kind of be able to pop up better. So now time to see if I was right. Yeah, I think I was. <laughs> this has that like little bit of like, it doesn't really want to go past there and you kind of need to force it. This one, it's that high. 
so it's like a little bit steeper and it's also like a lot easier to pop it from there. Okay, time to do the first trick. I don't really know what I want to try. I kind of want to try an impossible because I feel like I'll kind of just be able to like swoop it around like that. But it is also back heavy, so once I get it here, I don't really know how it's gonna go. That was pretty close. Okay, that was pretty much it. Can I do any sort of ollie? <laughs> that actually worked. Okay. The funny thing with Hot Wheel cars is they do kind of want to stay on the ground. So if you like roll it, it... Never mind, <laughs> I was wrong. I was gonna say they kind of just want to roll over back onto their wheels. But they actually don't. <laughs> yeah, never mind. Also, my reaction to that was 100% real. I didn't even know about this before I started filming. And I actually wasn't even gonna show these in the video. I'm just like, whatever, they just, everybody probably has one. But that's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm gonna try and kick flip. Oh, that car just went flying. I mean, that was an ollie. Why is this so hard? Okay, I do just wanna try this car and see if it's any different. 540 flip. Was that a kick flip? Or was it not? Do an instant replay in like super slow-mo. Like I know that wasn't clean at all, but I kind of did a trick and it landed like that. And I kind of just did that. But was it a kickflip? Also, before you say it, I know that these are all random tricks, but it's kind of hard because I'm using a car. I'm kind of just trying whatever to see if I can do anything, but I do know that I'm doing random tricks, but I'm just trying to do anything at this point. <laughs> Wait, that was a kickflip, was it not? I'm pretty sure that was a kickflip. Let me try and do it again. Nope. Sheesh! Was like double 360 flip so 720 flip i think i'm gonna stick to fingerboarding instead of finger carring i don't know why does this feel so strange now this now feels super long and my actual fingerboard like my current setup is actually a tiny bit longer than this oh no why am i so sloppy now just because this is super lightweight it feels super junky now for some reason like just having that like lightweight doesn't weigh anything feel to it it just feels like it now should weigh something it just kind of clicked right now like it kind of just came back now so, I hope you guys enjoyed that video of me finding out that I became $36,000 richer. But for real though, I'm just gonna check like Kijiji because Kijiji doesn't have very many glitches. I'm gonna see if there's any on there. All right, not a single result in all of Alberta. Let me just switch that to Canada. Okay, all of Canada. Wait for it, still loading. There's still people selling them for like hundreds of dollars. Uh, yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. Other than that is pretty cool. But now for the hard part is do I keep these for now? And do I sell them for $10,000 in five years? 
and then I'm like almost a millionaire just off of some toy cars. Or do I sell it now for $36,000? I don't know. I'll just sign it, Tanner Fox, and then they'll be worth that much more. Because when these first came out, he was like hand signing a bunch of them. So, you know, but yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, make sure to drop a like on this video because it really helps out the algorithm and YouTube is competing with TikTok right now. So drop a like on the video to support YouTube. Also, leave some of your best video ideas in the comments down below or some of your strangest ideas and I'll see what I can do with it. Subscribe button is over there. All my social media links are in the description down below, including my Discord, my Instagram, Facebook, not that I use it and not that I want to use it and two more videos down there and I will see you in my next video.